No, 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 not, not now, not now. Mr. Webster, we are waiting. Uh, Your Honor, please tell me you see this for what it is. The defense is just stalling for time. No, that, that isn't true, Your Honor. The evidence I have here is genuine. I'm sure you will agree once you see it. Will both the counsels please approach the bench? Your Honor, doesn't it strike you as a little odd that this evidence was presented right Your Honor, can right we please withdraw to your chamber so that you can review this in private? I'm going to review your evidence, Mr. Webster, but I think I'm going to adjourn this court for today. But, Thank Your you. Honor, the jury is primed with our summations. They're ready to deliberate. Court is adjourned until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, at which time the jury will hear my decision as to whether it can begin deliberation or not, Mr. Lockwood. Court is adjourned. All rise. Come with me, gentlemen. I want my protest noted, Your Honor. This is nothing more than blatant grandstand. It has been noted, Mr. Lockwood. Now, please stop hounding me. All right, Harold. Let's, let's just see what you've got. I know what I've got here is for Judge Sawyer's eyes. I got to tell you something. I don't think you need, need to be in here. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes, I would like that. Look, Marshal, I tell you, I think that the, All the whole All right, thing... gentlemen, stop it. Mr. Webster. Your Honor. Interesting, but hardly overwhelming, Mr. Webster. I can think of several reasonable explanations for this. I knew it. And I can give you the right one, I think. And what's more, I think I can give you a confession right on the witness stand. All I'm asking for is just a little bit of time. All you're asking for is to drag this into Christmas recess to play on the jury's holiday spirit of goodwill. <laughs> Your Honor, I resent the district attorney's implications and here. And Your Honor, I resent the fact that Mr. Webster may be allowed to embarrass another witness and the court by yet another hypothetical reconstruction of the crime. A little bit more self-control, gentlemen. All right. Mr. Webster, I'm going to let you present this evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. But the minute I think you're taking an unreasonable amount of time to do it, I'm going to pull your plug. I mean, as annoying as Mr. Lockwood's objections are, they are not completely groundless. Thank you. I understand, Your Honor. And I will wrap this thing up just as quickly as I possibly can. Now don't worry, Harold. I'm going to be right there to make sure you do. Yes? Good. Send him in. Julia. Come in, Doug. I thought Dan was supposed to be. Dan is out of town. I set this meeting up. Would you please close the door? Well, you really outdid yourself this time, didn't you? Look, by going to Ben, I did what was right. What was right? Since when are you deciding that? Since I couldn't live with yours and Dan's definition of it. A lot of innocent people are getting hurt, Julia, and I won't stand for it. There's no such thing as innocence. Only ignorance. And I don't have any misgivings about taking advantage of other people's stupidity. But for the sake of our friendship, I'm just going to leave. Wait, Doug. Our friendship? Oh, that's very amusing. I'd say you've uh, betrayed our friendship, not uh, respected it. Would you call blackmailing me respecting our friendship? That wasn't blackmailing. It was exchanging one favor for another. Oh, come on, Julia. You don't really believe that, do you? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, then, well, then I feel sorry for you. 
All this time, I thought you were such a positive influence on Dan, the one person that kept him from giving in to his uh, less than ethical instincts. He's finally worn you down, huh, Julia? Well, your instincts are very convenient, Doug. Where were they when Dana came up with your thesis seven years ago? Or are you telling me that you would turn down that kind of help if you were in the same position today? Yeah, I would. Easy answer. No, it's not. It isn't. It's a very painful answer. It's one I can give because, you know, I know the, I know the circumstances, I know the results of that choice. Well, I hope my pain is included in that. It is. It is, Julia. Look, you can't fool me. I know how scared you are about Dan and Nancy. About Dan turning the tables on you and pulling a con. Don't be ridiculous. I'm in total control of all that. Julia, come on, you've got a right to be scared. I said I'm in control. All right. Or maybe you're right. Maybe the ignorant do deserve to be taken advantage of. Thank you. I tell you, Nancy, it was so exciting. Babs came running in, waving this envelope and hollering at them, and shouting at them. Webster. I tell you, the judge, he was just fit to be tied. So what was this new evidence? Well, you know, Harold won't tell us. He won't even tell Babs. But we're hoping we find out by the time the judge makes his decision. But it's bound to have a good effect for Dave Phillips. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Well, that's not exactly why I invited you out to dinner, though, I own. Um... Oh? Oh, no, don't misunderstand. I, I, I find it really interesting, you know, what Dave's going through and all. But, um, well, I wanted to give you something. A Christmas present. It's just a little token of my appreciation oh, for everything you've done. See, that wasn't necessary. You said thanks to me many times. That's all I need. Yeah, I know, but, well, here. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. Well, open it. Oh, Nancy, is this from where it says it's from? Uh-huh. Oh, that's a very expensive jewelry store. I don't know whether or not I've been ever, ever been able to f afford anything in that store. Yeah, well, I can. Come on, just open it up. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, Nancy. Do you like it? It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad because, uh, well, I didn't know whether I should get it or not, but then um, I was describing you to the salesman, and he thought it'd be perfect. Try it on. Well, I don't know whether or not I should. Why not? Because you can't afford this either. Well, why do you say that? Oh, Nancy, now I know what happened the other day. I know that you're perfectly aware of what's been going on with Dan Myers and his wife. And now that you're dropping the lawsuit, you need to watch your money a lot more carefully. Now, I appreciate the gesture. It was very lovely and everything. But under the circumstances, Nancy, well, I think... Well, I own... I, I'm not necessarily going to drop the lawsuit. <laughs> Well, you know Dan Myers is using you, Well, don't no, you? I don't know that. Uh, you know, he gave me a perfectly legitimate explanation for everything that had happened. Nancy! No, I own, please. You know, I'm just giving him the opportunity to prove himself. That's all. I'm not saying that I believe what he's, he's saying yet. I'm giving him the opportunity. How? Well, I, by showing me the paper that proves he's divorced. Oh, Nancy! No, I own, listen to me. He was planning on getting this divorce even before he met me. And I know you don't agree with those things, but we're talking about whether he's telling the truth or not, right? And you believe he is? Well, yes, I'm just giving him the opportunity to prove himself, that's all. I own not only this divorce, but he has opened a joint bank account for the both of us. I have access to all his money. Oh, and he'll have access to yours, too, when you get your settlement, right? Well, he asked me to forgive him. You know, just the same way I asked you to forgive me and everybody else to forgive me. I mean, he deserves that much, right? Well, if he's telling the truth, yes, but, uh, uh, I mean... I own that. Listen, you asked me to prove myself when I came and stayed with you, right? You asked me to make sure I stopped drinking, to help around the house, to uh, get a job. None of the things which you really did. Nancy, I didn't ask you to do those things to earn forgiveness. I asked you to do them for your own good. Forgiveness is something you can't earn. Now, all of those things you're asking of, Dan, they're empty. They only point up your own foolishness, your willingness to be deceived again. Now, sweetheart, I can save you the suspense of waiting to see whether or not he's going to do it. Mark my word, he will. No, 
nobody understands. Oh, Nancy. We do understand, and we all want to help. When? Soon as we can. Soon as we can both tie up all our loose ends. Before Christmas? If it's possible, yes. But Stacy, we're family. To spend Christmas apart. Oh, I understand. You think I'll be in prison so we wouldn't be together anyway. That's not true. Look, running away with Gil isn't going to solve anything. Yes, it will. What? Everything. The, the problems with Amber, the memories of Mom, the, the trouble I'm having with work. Stacy, it may help you forget your problems temporarily, but they'll come back. And when they do, they'll be worse than ever. Well, that's a chance that I'm willing to take. And so is Gil. He needs a new beginning, too. You know that Prescott Development has never really recovered from the Canterbury accident, and you're Gil feels You're giving me a long like... list of what you're leaving behind, but what are you taking with you? What's going to get you through the rough times ahead? Our commitment to each other. Commitment? If it can't help you through the rough times here, what makes you so sure it will in some other town? Dad, I'm 23 years old, and I'm perfectly capable of making my own decisions. Besides, Gil and I have overcome rough times together. Look at what Amber tried to do to us. Dad, I love him. A and I know this is the right move. Where would you go? <laughs> North Carolina. That's where his father and sister are. You know, I did some figuring. And in my entire life, I've spent only about eight months outside of Kingsley. I am really looking forward to getting to know another state. Maybe your mother and I should have sent you to school out of state. I, um, I'm sorry that I didn't make it to the trial today. How did it go? Well, uh, it went well. Harold gave his summation. So now the jury is retired to decide its verdict. No, his uh, private investigator came in with some new evidence. Harold says it points to the real murderer. Uh, Judge Sawyer made a decision. He's allowing it to be entered. I don't understand. What new evidence? How can you be so sure that it proves who the murderer is? I've told you everything I know. His secretary came into the courtroom with this new information. And Judge Sawyer took Harold and the district attorney into his chambers. And a little while later, Harold sent word that he was allowed to present the new evidence. You didn't get to see it at all? No. Aren't you curious to find out what it is? Of course I'm curious. But I've tried, but I, I just couldn't. Well, give Mr. Webster a call now. I've tried already, but he's not in his office. So you're going to find out in court, like everyone else. Well, that's not fair. No, no, no. She's making an appointment for me to see him first thing in the morning. That's why I want you to wait until after Christmas to leave. I'm not going to prison. We're going to win. Please, Stacy. let's stay a family as long as we can. No, that's impossible. You're not making any sense. Look, Dad, I, I am really happy for you. I am. But, but I have got to get away from here. And the sooner, the better. And Gil, he feels the same way. Well, let me talk to him. Explain. No! Why? The decision has already been made. Now, I don't expect you to understand it, but I am asking you to accept it. No, I don't understand. The choice is yours. If for some reason you change your mind, just let me know. I'll, uh, I'll keep my plans open as long as I can. Good night, honey. Good night. And how is she? Oh, Fred, I don't have any good news. Well, let's have it. Well, she's given uh, Dan Myers another chance. 
In spite of what she's heard and what she's seen, she seems to think that he needs a chance to kind of... I, I don't want to hear anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. I own we proved to her what he is trying to do. She even thanked us. I know, I know. The other day when we went over to Meyer's office, we confronted him. We told him we knew the con. We knew about the con and he was scared. It wasn't an act. We all thought it was over. I don't, is he that good or is Nancy that stupid? Oh, no, Ben. She's frightened, Ben. She's afraid. Well, I don't care what her problems are. She has no right to take them out on me. Now, Ben, look, the good Lord's gonna... Yeah, well, I think the good Lord has played a practical joke. He set me up. He made me think everything was fine. Ben Martin? Now, I won't have you talking like this. I don't care if it is your own house. I'm sorry. It's just I thought we had Myers caught in his own trap. I really thought that... Did she say why? Well, yes, yeah, she mentioned some nonsense about what her idea of forgiveness was, uh, and also a misunderstanding about what's behind our forgiveness of her. Well, I guess we were a little premature in that, weren't we? Well, now there's some hope in this after all. I mean, she's talking a little foolish, but you gotta realize, Ben, you know, she's a changed woman. She, Nancy no, has- when will people stop saying that? Nancy has not changed. She has simply learned how to smile as she grabs what isn't hers. She has learned how to apologize while she takes even more. I own I'm surprised that someone as intelligent as you cannot see through her act. And so my protest fell on deaf ears. If you could hazard a guess as to what it is, what would you say? I'd say it was something outside the apartment. And nothing that's truly incriminating. Though... Judge Sawyer did uh, respect it enough to let him enter it. And that confirms something that I thought all along. He's leaning toward the defense. He has been from the beginning. Yes, but you have a right to, to know what it is. Why didn't you push for it? Judge Sawyer was in a foul mood. I, I just didn't want to hassle him today. There's plenty of time for that. You know, I think Webster's going to draw this verifying the evidence thing out as long as he possibly can. And that's OK. Because by the time he gets around to presenting it, I'll have gathered enough information, as usual, to discredit it. There's only one thing that bothers me. Judge Sawyer's partiality on top of it. Oh, I don't think that's the case. I think he's just basically an honest man. <laughs> don't try to impress me with your generosity, Lee. The election's over. I'm not trying to impress you. The fact of the matter is, when Sebastian and I wanted this crime task force during the campaign, and Sawyer's name was mentioned as a possible member of it, he called and declined. Oh, he was pleased, but he was a little uncomfortable that it might be interpreted as favoritism on our side uh, during the trial. Which proves he's only looking out for his own political future, not that he's an honest man. Your respect, uh, Lee, is a little hard to take sometimes. You do miss the point. This isn't respect, it's caution. You see, Sawyer's kind of integrity can be uh, dangerous. Well, it sounds like you think that uh, that little bit of information, that little evidence is a threat to you. Why? Just political caution, that's all. Oh, political caution is in somebody may point a finger at you again? <laughs> Hardly. You, uh, you made Webster's original accusations look ridiculous. You bet. And I can make anything Webster says look ridiculous. That's my job. But sometimes performance and rhetoric are the only thing I use and not personal conviction. Is that some kind of a threat? No, it's no threat, Lee. It's simply a statement of fact. We do what's necessary, not always what's necessarily right. I think we've both gotten what we wanted out of this little exchange. Thanks for the drink. Harold, I, I don't understand you. Why are you acting like this? You got Dave off and you should be celebrating and you act like it's a, a funeral or something. Why? It's a little complicated, perhaps. It's a little stupid. 
Bash, thanks for bringing the paperwork over. I, could you just uh, go? Not until I get some answers. I don't have any answers. All I got is a lot more questions. All right. Whose fingerprints did McCormick find? Who said that's what the evidence was? He did. Would you quit being so mysterious? McCormick shouldn't have said anything at all. You already know too much. <gasps> Who am I going to tell? They were Lee Carruthers, weren't they? I'm not saying anything. They were Gills. Sebastian. Babs, just stop it. I know it was one of those. And please keep your speculations to yourself. Now, I've got a whole lot of work to do. But why here? Why don't you want anybody to know where you're at? I mean, there's a lot of people that want to get in touch with you. Oh, no, I can't see anybody. I need... I just need to be unavailable for a while. Even your own client? <sighs> Especially you. What? Well, look, whether you like it or not, I've made an appointment for him to see you first thing in the morning. I guess that'll be all right. I wish I could figure you out. Don't bother. Call me later? Yeah, yeah if I get a chance. Right. Just doesn't make any sense. A divorce certificate and a joint bank account. Well, Nancy always was real deep. Well, you don't think he'll really come through with all this, Of course you? he will. Dan Myers isn't stupid. That's our department. Ben, now that isn't true. We've tried Laurie, everything Laurie, we Laurie, could. Laurie, just don't start in. Now, it is true. We made a big mistake. We trusted Nancy. We assumed that the changes we saw in her were real. But they weren't. In fact, I think they were part of the con. Not anymore. From now on, I'm going to treat Nancy exactly as she deserves. <laughs>